Taylor Watch. Welcome back to another episode of Taylor Watch. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Yay. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Yay. I'm feeling blah today. I'm trying to hype myself up. Yeah, me too. That was literally me. I'm feeling blah, by the way. Like that's how you can tell. I mean, welcome to sing the beginning. Welcome to our like every day for us literally I'm like I know. Oh, today sucks today like, sucks yeah yeah hey guys yeah, what's up today new. sucks as always yeah. like the moody teens of the office for sure um but no i mean it's it's the most disgusting rainy day yeah like, it was like not even a good rainy day you mm. know like i love a rainy day when it's like a pretty rainy day but today is disgusting um I was getting ready this morning and I could see out my window. I saw no less than 20 people just get rocked by the wind with oh their God. umbrellas. And it's just where I live, it's like kind of a wind tunnel for some reason. I always say that, I think. But it's <laughs> when the umbrellas are out, it's mm. very clear. So pray for those people. Yeah, I had a um, leak in my bathroom again no. this morning. Every time it rains Ugh. really hard, my bathroom leaks. I can't wait where to get Where does it leak? On the ceiling? Or yes. Like, ceiling. That's so I know, crazy. So. That sucks so bad. Just I'm hopefully sorry. I'm hoping that my bathroom's not overflowing right oh now. Oh, my God. Do you but put a little bucket there? Yeah, like, I just like took the trash bag out of my trash right. can. And right, right, right. Got to do, like yeah. do it like that. Collecting dirt. Yeah. Got to do like that. Yeah, I got allergies uh, popping off. I'm sniffling. I'm not sick. I just have allergies. You Ugh. know? A little sniffly girl. Just, it's just a nonstop. Do you think that? Do you think that Taylor has these problems? Like, do you think she wakes up and she's like, "I'm feeling blah today, and my fucking allergies." Like, I would love to know. I if feel Taylor like yes, like but us. she like has, she like has to have like, like a pick me up or something. Like, I don't know. I feel totally. like totally. Like, what's her secret? What, yeah, what I don't know. brings her up when she's feeling down? I would love to know. Yeah, I would love to know. Like, what's her? Th- you know, I feel like maybe a cup it's like of tea. A, yeah, like a cup of tea or yeah. like a. Here's the difference, though. To be honest. <laughs> If I'm in a blah mood and I get to stay home mm. and I get to like make myself a cup of tea yeah. and lay on the couch and whatever, I can turn my turn my day around for sure. But when I have to be active and like, you know, a, yeah. a contributing member of society, it's difficult. So I yeah. wonder like if she wakes up, she has a blah day and then, um, you know, has to go perform the Eras tour yeah. at night. What does she do? Obviously, it's like the comparisons are so wide, but like... Even on days where I feel like this, and I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't want to like record. Like I just yeah, don't yeah. feel like talking. You still feel like, like talking. Yeah. 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 Like, Imagine I'm her my own voice. I'm singing her my own voice like a lot. that, but then she has to go do a three-hour fucking tour. Oh, I can't show. imagine. Yeah, I can't imagine. Right yeah, when so you're feeling like wimps. shit, or you like have a pimple or something, <laughs> like just ruining your day. I know. I shaved my face yesterday. I like dermaplane. Oh, no. And I cut myself a little. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my it? god! Yes, a little. Yeah, just a little bit. Wait, wait, wait! Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. Like, looks sensitive. Yeah, just a little. Damn. It doesn't hurt or anything, but yeah. You know, I, I am always trying to do that, and I'll do it every once in a while. I need to do it more often, but mm. I need to find an alternative because um, every time I do it, I break out all over my face. Okay, so yeah. Like, I get I redness, to... but oh, I love the feeling of it. It's no, so it feels soft. so nice. Like, it's so the satisfying day watching all the hair yeah, it's get. Amazing. Yeah. But for some reason, it makes me like immediately break mm. out. So I don't know what When you do, do it at home, it. Yeah. maybe it's the I razor you use or something. Do you go to a place? No, I do it myself. I have the little, like the little ones. Yeah, that's what I And then I, I also use. have one of those, um, those things like, they it looks like a lipstick or something, but it's not. And oh you open it yes, up and the it's face like, shaver. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, has that. And I like that, but that's the one that that gives me pimples. Oh now, yeah, so you I gotta use know. just use the handheld one. I have one. one of those. Okay. And okay. yeah, because I was doing that TikTok where it's like you put your face closer. The more you oh, like yeah, the song. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. And funny. I watched it back, and I was like, I have chin hair, and <laughs> I have mustache hair, and I have no, a unibrow. Always. No, my whole face. Whole <laughs> so face. So I was like, all right, I got to get it. Got to do it. Got to do it. And it was really <laughs> they say satisfying. They it's good for your skin, too, just generally speaking. Apparently, yeah. I, I do it, like, that. once a month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that and makes I, sense. And I don't notice, like, the hair growing back thicker or anything. No, no, like, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. No, everybody does. Everybody does. I'm just bad at it, I think, is what happened. I think I started too late in yeah. life where it's like, I don't know. But I like I my face have... feels so soft right now. I'm jealous. Yeah. So mine does it's not. like a baby's bottom. Well, it bottom. kind of feels. My, my, face is, my face has not been bad lately, thank God. Knock on fucking wood. Next I know. Next week I'm going to have like, uh, like a cystic pimple as always, you know. Drives me insane. Yeah. Do you get that? Do you get like cystic pimples? No. I've been pretty lucky my whole life with my skin, yeah. thank God. I used to have like relatively bad skin in high school, but mm-hmm. I kind of just grew out of it. Yeah. And I just That's I've lucky. been blessed. I used to have I used to have bad skin on my forehead in high school, mm. which was obviously mortifying. Like, yeah. nothing's more embarrassing than like your forehead, forehead pimple, like, yeah. pimple, like whatever. But I am also a serial like picker. Mm. So if I even have like a whisper 
of a pimple, yeah. I'm, I'm digging it out of my face. We and, used then, to... and then we're just caking on the makeup over the scab. It's you know awful. I mean? it's we terrible. would have a running so joke ugly. in like high school and college, like the friend with the bleeding pimple. Yes. Like, always. oh God, like I'm the friend with the <laughs> bleeding pimple because like we would all pick our pimples. No, it's so bad. But it's satisfying. so bad. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it just feels good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I would love to know. I would love to know a, a Taylor pick me up. Do you think that she would ever do? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God. What? Congratulations are in order. Our girl's a billionaire. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Congrats, girl. Woo, Must be woo. nice. Can you please give me $1 million? Yes, just one. Just one. One million a piece. Yeah, you have we'll crush it. 999. Like, we'll do something great with it. We won't. Yeah. We totally won't blow it on clothes and travel. <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely do something. We'll yeah. give back to the community and then like also go. Yeah, to, and also know, blow it on whatever. clothes and travel. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they also <laughs> travel around Europe for a month straight. Yeah. But, um, which would be lovely. But yes, uh, billionaire first billionaire, person billionaire. to ever do it on performance and music alone yes which is just fabulous so cool i am um, i wrote in a blog about it yesterday that there i'm sure will be haters who don't want to believe that it's only uh music and performances mm. but it is and yeah. um and i thought like I was being uh, a little ridiculous by saying that. I was like, everyone knows that she doesn't have like other companies and stuff. How could people even say anything? Yeah. People are talking shit online being like, oh yeah, she made all her money off music and performances. And they were pulling up like print ads from 10 years ago for like CoverGirl. Oh, and, what? And um, I forget what the other one was. It was like CoverGirl and something Some, else. Like Marie Claire or something? Yeah. <laughs> like something so obviously like yeah. she probably got like a hundred grand in 2008. For yeah. That. Like it's just. That's crazy. That's she also not doesn't the same thing. own. Yeah, she's yeah, she own oh, Coca Cola. That's what it was. Oh, Coca Cola. Coca Cola was one, yeah. and then um, she and doesn't then own those brands either. So doesn't, doesn't own count. them, right? Like yeah. people are. Uh, if you're confused by this, a lot of the musicians that have become billionaires. And honestly, a lot of the billionaires in general have multiple businesses. Yeah. They, they do, you know, like uh, uh, Kylie Jenner. She's a billionaire. She's got the makeup line. She's yeah. got all kinds of other shit. Like, she's not... Skin she, care skin care. Like, clothing. she's not a, a, a one, you know, a one-lane girl. Same with 50 Cent. 50 Cent had vitamin water, people forget. Vitamin right. water and something else he's got going on. Uh, uh, Dr. Dre's got beats. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all these people have... Yeah. Is Rihanna a billionaire? Yes, yeah, she has I think, Fenty. from Fenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fenty yeah. skin, Fenty beauty. Yeah. So all these people who, yes, are, were rich in their own right because they were their famous stars also um, have alternate, uh, uh, what is it? Means Sources of, of income. Yeah, right. Sources of income. Taylor Swift does not. She's just, she has made a billion dollars on talent alone. Which is something that I cannot imagine. It's crazy. I can't so imagine. So crazy. It. What an accomplishment. Just being so, so good at what you do and so beloved and, and just that everybody just wants to throw their money at you. Like, it's it's amazing. Yeah. It's, it has to feel good in the way of like, uh, she, she and any of her family members, anyone she knows close in her circle will never have to worry about money again. Like, never once. Yeah, it's nice. Not that they did before, but yeah. it's just, that's a nice, that's a nice feeling, right? <laughs> Yeah, seriously. Her parents, her parents can imagine. just go fuck off if they want. They yeah. can be like, all right, shh, we hit this, throw us, you know, $10 million. Yeah, and I we'll think this says a island. lot about her family, too, like that they all stick with her and like keep Absolutely. working with her and stuff. Absolutely. And they also don't seem like people who take advantage of the money. You know yeah, what I mean? No, like definitely they don't. Not. Like I can't imagine her family ever like asking her for money. She probably just like gives out money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, imagine having her as like your aunt or something. Like when no, Austin be the has fucking kids. Best. Yeah. I know. Oh, like forget Christmas. It. Like Auntie aunt, Taylor. Auntie Taylor. Yeah. Auntie Tay. Stop. Yeah. Um, uh, that's like jackpot. You yeah, know, and Uncle that's Trav. That's amazing. Yeah, Uncle Trav, of course. Travis is doing a little press tour for his... Uh, did you get that email, by the way? No, I didn't. How did I? I yeah. haven't signed up for anything or bought anything Travis Kelsey related. <laughs> like, I have no idea why I am... How I ended up on the uh, Travis Kelsey email list for... Um, Kelsey Jam 24 featuring Hell Lil yeah. Wayne and Diplo. Tickets on sale Friday, tomorrow, if you want to go. KelseyJam.com. Like, do we go? I, I mean, maybe. <laughs> it's where, in but, Kansas City, But though. where is it? It's oh, in Kansas City. Then yeah. no. No it's offense. It's way too far. I'm all set. Um... <laughs> I mean, I I love Lil Wayne and I do like Diplo. Yeah, and it looks I like don't really like else Diplo. Is on this little, and I don't really like Lil Wayne either. Oh, I love Lil Wayne, but mm. um, some people say Diplo is kind of a weirdo. He's had some. I don't know how. Yeah, issues. He's just weird. Yeah. Also, uh, Irie I R I E and E V. Oh no, 
2 Chains is also involved. Oh. Lil Wayne, Diplo, 2 Chains. Hell yeah. And then who's Irie and Evie? Chain EV? thing to my ding line Don't know. See? <laughs> like, look at that. The top underneath 2 Chains. Irie chains. and EV. Hmm, no idea. I wonder if they're like local Kansas City rappers. Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. But anyway, so, so Travis is doing a, a little fest, which is exciting for him. And so he's doing a little press tour about yeah. it, I guess. Kelsey and of Jam. Course, Kelsey Jam. Of course, every single question is like, what did you learn from Taylor I on know. the Eras tour that helped you prepare for your... And I'm like, okay, I don't think Travis is like taking notes at the Eras tour for Kelsey Jam. I think that he's <laughs> just going to stand behind a DJ booth yeah, it's and also drink so and, and different. yell. Like, yeah. it's not the same. It's but so different. People, you know, they stay asking him, this poor man, It's he can't get away from it. And he just, he just like replies in the most patient and kind ways still like yeah. i at this point i don't care who i'm dating who i'm with the amount of questions that you get asked by about this person who you clearly are like in a you know it's whatever i just feel like i would have snapped by now i would have been like can you just like leave like for know, real? like can like, we just talk, talk about kelsey jam can we talk about kelsey jam <laughs> like leave taylor out of this like she's busy like leave her alone yeah like, i think i'd be like oh stop like I, I, but i don't know though like when you're in love like that like all you want to do is talk about your true, significant, true, significant true, other true, 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 like you're just like oh my boyfriend oh yeah he likes to do this and this and that so it's, true. and it's so annoying for other people like absolutely yeah. it is and so you know and it's it's Again, very nice, and it's much better than the alternative right. of of I don't want to talk about her or whatever. There I was, just like I can't believe the the patience. Like, yeah, I just would be so irked by now <laughs> to like. It's just every person asks the same question. You yeah. know, nobody's yeah. original about it. Yeah, no, it is it is annoying at a certain point. I feel like, but I don't know. Just like I'm looking at clips or i'm just like looking at clips yeah, right yeah, now yeah. and like he just looks so, he's so smiley smiley and cute and he's like i don't know he just really he's like looks i'm like, like he's happy. like i'm having the best time of my life yeah he's like my oh i saw he's like my him. cup is like overfilled yeah, like my, it couldn't my, be people more. say glass half full and my glass is all the way full yeah it's overflowing and yeah it's, it's like it's sweet it's very sweet i don't want that to be misconstrued the, however yeah. i personally have a have a temper problem so <laughs> i i would not do well with this <laughs> i would be like leave me alone <laughs> i would like stop saying no to interviews i'd be like That's all they're hilarious. gonna do is ask me this one Honestly, question same. that i've answered 12 times yeah, already like, like i'm just a selfish bitch like i want to talk about myself like it's let's go. it's not even that i don't think like it, it's just it's all it's the no, same it's, yeah, fucking the same qu- questions. It's the, what did you learn from the eras tour in planning kelsey jam what did, how is your life right now like it just doesn't seem Everyone just wants to ask him about Taylor. Yeah. It's, and it's just so obvious. Like, at least be slick about it, I guess. Is yeah. What I, is my problem with it. No, I agree. For, for, for poor Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Especially. You know? just, let, just let his man, just let this man jam. Let this man jam out. Yeah. So anyway, I, I don't know how I ended up on the, on the Travis Kelsey mailing list. That's funny, though. Maybe some, I looked it up. It's, you know, it's from like an automated, it's from, you know, Kelsey jam at mail, blah, blah, blah. Interesting. So they made a. Why didn't I get one? It. I have fuck? no idea. I, and I also just have no idea how it, uh. How it came to hmm. me. Interesting. But that's exciting. I Maybe was it's because s- because they, they, they know me and, and by extension you and we're gonna be invited to, to Rhode Island for Fourth of July. Oh is, right, is obviously. That's happening. what that means. Or yeah. maybe they'll give us backstage passes to Kelsey Jam. I would love that. Ooh, I would love a backstage pass to Kelsey Jam. Yeah, me too. Um, um s- speaking of uh, of music festivals, you just sent me something right before oh, yeah. you walked in here. I can't decide if I think it's true or not. Potential I was from U.S. Weekly, so take it with a grain of salt, mm-hmm. obviously. But um, mm-hmm. it's, they say Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are planning to attend Coachella. They really want to see Lana Del Rey is the God. exclusive that they said. Um, they both want to see Lana Del Rey and Jack Antonoff's band Bleachers, the insider says. Um, Swift and Kelsey will be renting a house in the area for one of the two festival weekends, the source adds. I mean, who knows? That to me, I mean, I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, Coachella, number one. I feel no like Taylor's like too, too, like cool too tra- No, too famous. No, I agree. Like, where yeah, is she going to How could you stand? possibly go to Coachella? Like, yeah. how could she possibly go to Coachella? Like, yeah. It would be. Unless she's like behind the stage, like. She'd have to be behind the stage. She'd have to be in a disguise. Mm-hmm. Like. That'd be kind of fun, though. That would be really like, fun. But how wig. could they possibly disguise themselves? Like, yeah, she could like wear he, a wig, but he's Travis, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, ginormous. He's not going to wear a wig. And also, like, you do not want to be stuck in a wig in fucking India. In Coachella. Yeah, yeah where in India, so California. Fucking hot. Not a chance. Yeah. I think that would be. It, it's a compelling argument. Bleachers playing and right, Lana. Right, right. Um, and, and we'll see, but. 
I would not get my hopes up for that. Co- when yeah. is Coachella? Coachella has April, to be soon, right? tw- like it's like next week, April twelfth to the fourteenth, and then nineteenth to the twenty first. Okay, well, it's obviously not going to be the it's second weekend be the 21st, because yeah. that's torture poets. But so it would be this weekend, I guess. Interesting. All right, or we'll next have weekend. To, we'll have to keep our eyes peeled next weekend because that sounds crazy. Yeah. Um. Um. I wanted to talk about um the everyone's just been doing like the parallels between. The Joe interview and Travis. When of course. Joe was asked what his favorite Taylor Swift song is. And mm-hmm. he said, like, I don't even want to get into that conversation mm-hmm, right now. Mm-hmm. And then Travis was asked if he has any Taylor Swift songs on his like game day playlist. Yeah. And he was like, she's on my everyday playlist. Like, I Aww. listen to her every day. Isn't that Precious so cute? Angel. He's just so, he's so slick, man. He, you know, he just says he really all has the, the right, right things. I, it's just crazy. He says all the right things. It's it's, it's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful. just really nice to see someone like. He's got a brain under there, you yeah, know? Yeah, like just a really like, he just embraces her and her talent. And it's just really cute to think about him like walking to like, some, yeah. like walking to get coffee and he's like listening he's got, to yeah Taylor he's got Swift. 1989 on shuffle yeah. like you know and maybe he listens to i wonder you know how some people make like the playlists on spotify that are like all of taylor's uh pops mm-hmm. upbeat songs oh, yeah. or like all of taylor's sad songs yeah. and it's like imagine he's walking down the street he's having a bad day but he has like <laughs> the taylor sad song taylor playlist swift, but on. You're, yeah taylor swift but you're sad yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious he's going off to yeah i just it. thought it was really sweet that is really sweet that's and really he kind. he also said um travis said that he's most excited for the london shows which i, I heard him say that he also did slip in paris at the end there did yeah you hear he that? said paris I like, so i wonder yeah. if he's gonna be there i hope so Me I, too. I like in my head was like absolutely he's going to paris well remember that rumor i forget if we even talked about it on the show because it seems so ridiculous mm-hmm. but the rumors of like what travis got taylor for her christmas or yeah. her birthday or whatever and yeah. it was like a beret and like yeah. a dior bag which yeah. is french and yeah. it was like French themed things and so for that reason people thought he was going to be in Paris mm. so in my head I've been kind of thinking that yeah just because of that stupid fucking shit there's just no way he well, got her I a think Dior saddlebag like, like I don't think so yeah I, I, I <laughs> think get that for free probably <laughs> you yeah, know like, definitely but I mean like what do you get her right what do you get her yeah what do you get her but yeah I just feel like I can't wait to see him in the it's funny that he was like the London shows out of all the shows that is pretty crazy yeah eight nights at Wembley he says that's so many yeah he said the the quote was the um Travis was asked what he's most excited for with the European leg of the Eras tour and he said the London shows I think she's at Wembley eight times which is mind-blowing that she can do that many shows in one stadium and fill that thing up I played in Wembley once and I don't think we filled that thing all the way up and London's always an amazing city Paris is a beautiful city and she'll be all over Europe there won't be a bad show I promise you that hell yeah and just like a really great PR answer there won't be a bad (laughs) there won't be a bad show I guarantee you yeah totally I love that I love that so much um you know where uh we just so we many cute maybe, quotes yeah there's a lot of cute stuff he's just I he's mean, just being a cutie we just you know i gotta cutie. go support i think we're both very career driven i think we both love what we do and any chance that i can show my support to her knowing that she's showing me all the support in the world through the season it's just been an amazing experience getting to know tay love it so cute he's oh always calling her tay that's her that's her name you know yeah. what though if i if I were my Taylor Swift, playlist. I would want someone to call me like a nickname. Yeah, me too. All all day long, I hear my name. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'd want like a little a little nickname. Tay is so cute. Speaking of uh, Travis and Taylor, however, congrats as well are in order for our girl winning um, six uh, I Heart, I Heart Mus- Radio Music yes, Awards. Yes, uh, Congrats, congrats! But the people that thought that. Taylor and Travis, his first red carpet was going to be the iHeartRadio Music Awards are out of your mind. Mm. You're out of your mind? Yeah. I'm sorry if there was no way. I was no seeing way a lot about happen. it on Twitter and I was like, there's just no way. Not a fucking chance. Yeah. And, f- and she didn't. I she still f- think it's going to be Met Gala. 100% too. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Couldn't agree like, more. Like, it just can't not be the Met Gala. Like, it just makes the most it's sense. It's the, the, the highest, like, st- I, I want to sound wrong saying this. Highest like status no, moment. No, that's exactly like, is that what a it bitchy is. thing to say? No. Like, not that they're like too good for the other things, but like it's a it's a a moment where, uh, you know, actors, musicians, celebrities, athletes. Yes, like, it's the the it's biggest the who's big, who. Of yeah, the who. big who's who for celebrities of all walks of life. Yeah, and like the the undertone is fashion, and it's Vogue, and it's it's like it's just such a big deal. 
And it would make the most sense mm-hmm. for that to be their first like red carpet together. I think. Right. Completely. Right. Because what else would it be? Like, otherwise, it would have been, you know, the Grammys would have been Taylor's night, but it would have been, you know, there's nothing that takes away from each other when they go to the Met Gala. You know what I mean? Like, they they are not being celebrated. They're just attending a big party that all the celebrities are going to. And I bet a lot of his friends will be there. Patrick and Brittany will definitely be there. They've been there past few years. Yeah. Um, I'm sure other football players will be there. Yeah. I wonder if, like, Tom Brady... I mean, he, he, Giselle went by herself last year. Yeah. I or think, whenever they, after they got divorced. I, I wonder if know. like Saquon Barkley went. He could go. Yeah. He maybe will go. Athletes that have been to the Met Gala. Russell Westbrook, Roger mm-hmm. Federer, Patrick Mahomes, Brittany Griner, Serena Williams, Stefan Diggs. Yep. 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 Um, Dwayne Wade. Stefan Diggs did Venus Williams. Yeah, Stefan Diggs just got traded to Houston, Houston Texans, I I saw which is that, big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chloe Kim, Megan Rapino, Daniel Ricardo, yeah, lots of Maria Sharapova, Odell. Incredible. Simone Biles. Oh my god, yeah. Odell. You think that anyway Odell and Kim K walk the carpet? Imagine. <laughs> oh god, that would imagine be crazy. we have a, a Zoolander, Hansel, like <laughs> like Travis and yeah. Taylor, Kim and Od- ODBJ. Just that would be so fucking really funny. desperate Stephen to Curry. be yeah. in the limelight. Yeah, that's interesting. Funny. But yeah, so <clears throat> I think that's um, I think that's definitely definitely in the cards for us. Also, something about the iHeart Awards. Um, Taylor was nominated for eight awards. She won six. That's wonderful. Hmm. But one of the ones that she lost, um, I have a big problem with. Oh, and it's our fault. Oh, not no. not you and me alone, oh, but God, us as say. Swifties. It's our fault. It is the biggest fan army award. Okay, BTS has whooped our asses seven years in a row. And we're done. We're done with that. No. And I know that they have a crazy army and I and I okay. love the passion. I was and gonna good say. for them. That's good for them. But but we are crazy fans too. And it is and crazy. And we need to be better. We need to be better. It's also crazy because BTS like isn't even together right now. They're literally. Oh my like god, I deployed. know. I yeah. know. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that, Gia. And yeah. now it's even more insane. What yeah. are we? Are we are we fair weather we're, fans? We're are we literally fakes? losing to a band that is not even they're on we hiatus. We are so fucking fake. If <laughs> with the Swifties can't even get that win. That's Okay, crazy. but I will say like But what do they do? Oh, sweet. So, so I found out. Who really cares what the I don't Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> but however, they they're whooping our ass. And we're the we're the craziest fans right now, especially this year, especially like whatever. We we should have won that award. Also, um, I found out the reason it's our fault and on us is because the public votes for these things. Mm. And where the fuck, where were we? I, I didn't vote. I didn't vote anywhere. I honestly don't even get that offended. Not offended, but like, I just, the BTS fans are another level. Like, Swifties get all the hate for being fucking crazy. BTS fans, like, I'm sure that these BTS fans like literally sat all night voting, 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 no, voting, voting, sure. voting, voting, voting. No, I'm sure, and we voting. need the we need the freak Swifties to start doing that shit. Okay, yeah. like if we get the label of the craziest fans by the public, and we have to deal with that and whatever, we better win the fucking award for it. Mm. I want to take on the hardware. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sorry no that's a good point i want to win an award yeah bts is always like oh they're fans they're so crazy like haha they win cool and it's like all right fine but then you can't also call us the craziest fans in the world and shut down our throats and everything look at this oh what's that balloons happy <gasps> happy what it's a, i don't know it's someone's birthday for bts Taylor? or something no it's for bts oh that's funny oh it must be some happy birthday to yeah whoever. i think it's somebody's birthday well happy birthday bts army Oh, it's the, it's the BTS Army's birthday, I think. Oh, my fucking God. Rubbing it in again. <laughs> it's like enough already. Enough. We get it. You guys are on top. Like, that is I'm so just jealous. Funny. I'm jealous. I want that. Like, again, if we are to be labeled the craziest fans, then we should at least win an award for it. Yeah, I agree. So that's that's my gripe with iHeart. And, and the Swifties, we have to be better next year. We can't let her lose this one. We can't have the losses on her record be a direct reflection of our behavior. We right. can't. We can't. We're better than that. And we love her more than that. Ugh. That's all I really yeah, felt. I I didn't, can I be real? I didn't watch the iHeart. No, I didn't I watch just, them either. I just like, I, I scroll don't, Twitter. I don't. I have no interest. Yeah. I don't yeah, really care. They're kind of like the PCAs to me. Totally same agree. vibe like exactly if you're vibe. winning like a, like i'm pretty sure didn't taylor win an award for like best lyrics yeah or something like that yeah. which i mean like she deserves of course. obviously but like but what it's a like okay. weird she also category. won she like, also won best um like best tiktok song or yeah, something yeah best tiktok pop tiktok bop <laughs> I was like, yeah. stop. You can keep that one. Yeah. Like, we're good. Like, give us the fan army give one. Give us the you fan army. Can, keep BTS that one. Can take keep the that one. Bop. She also won, and, uh, and one that I, I don't know 
not talking not talking shit mm. one i don't know if she deserves the best <laughs> tour outfits i don't know about that <laughs> Well, listen, we love it. We love was Beyonce nominated. I feel like she should have won that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I actually don't know if Beyonce was nominated, but I mean, come on. Yeah. Like, love Taylor. Love Taylor. But, she, you know, she's more mm. the same reputation off at all tour. Right. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Beyond. Yeah. That is very true. Hilarious. Um, Shall we get into DMs and yes, voicemails? Yes. Okay. Let's, let's do it. Yes. That's all that's happening in the world. Yeah. Of, the world of Swift. Oh, I, w- I did want to say one more thing. Ooh. Just a crazy stat that I sent you. Pre Midnight's Taylor oh, Swift yeah, had... Yeah. 57.8 million monthly listeners. 57.8 million monthly listeners mm-hmm. before midnight. Mm-hmm. Before Torture Poets Department, she has 102.2 monthly listeners. That's so... It's insanity. Crazy. That's so crazy. So, Billion, right? Yeah. Or, wait. 102.2 mil, uh, million monthly. That's right, monthly. Right, so it's so it's double. Like, liter- yeah, double. literally yeah. double. It's crazy. It's nuts. And it, if you see years. the streams, too, if you see the streams, it goes from, like... It goes from like, oh, a million streams, whatever, to a billion yeah. streams for like Cruel don't Summer blame and me. Lover. Don't, so pre-Midnight's with that 57.8 number, Don't Blame Me was her highest streamed song mm-hmm. with 34 million streams. Mm-hmm. And now pre-TTPD, it's Cruel Summer with a billi- 1.9 billion it's streams. Crazy. It's almost at it's 2 crazy. billion streams. So again, welcome welcome all the new Swifties yeah. to the bandwagon. Welcome well, yeah, to the, seriously. To the streams, welcome to the show. Yeah, you know? yeah. I yeah. am, I am... So excited to see the shit that comes with this new album drop. Like, mm-hmm. just the, the, the records. Because, I mean, she broke all the records already with Midnight. So, like, she'll be breaking her own records. Yeah. But I'm so interested to see the numbers. Like, it's going to be well, insane. They, they have, like, some crazy projection that, like, it's going to... I forget what the numbers are, but they were, like... Like you think that Ariana Grande and like Beyonce, not to compare, her, but like I know, they're I like know. They're, they're just they're the only people that are they're the only people that put yes. out new albums. Yes, like we'd love a, to compare it to yes, somebody else. We're not but doing else women against women. Music. It's literally just the fact that they're the only people. Where that are, are the men? Out. No men. Where are not they? Com- again, no, I'm not complaining. But like, no, where are I the know, men? They're not putting out anything. Who knows? Where's like they're they're too scared to go up against Taylor, and they're probably too scared to go up against against Ariana and Beyonce as well. To be honest, obviously, yeah, totally. But they're afraid. Yeah. Like who's scaredy cat, little bitches? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Cry? Where? For real. So unfortunately, it puts us in a position where we have where we have to compare numbers with with, with women. other. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and, and yeah. They just they say like the productions are just gonna blow them out of the water. Totally. Uh, yeah. Which doesn't necessarily reflect like I mean obviously does not mean that uh doesn't me- take away from Ariana or Beyonce. No. 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 But no, it no. is like it's a it's just wild. Taylor's a cheat code at this point. Yeah. Like everyone is going to tune in. Everyone's t- dying to hear this. I. I have a feeling that it might be her biggest album yet Mm. because it's going to be, you know, it's a little bit of a different vibe. People think it could be a mix between like a folklore and a Midnight's or or something like that. And also I think the undertone of it being another breakup album, even though it's never been confirmed that it is and it may or may not be like, we don't know exactly, but the undertone of it are going to get people listening and Uh, trying to get people involved. I feel like this has to be one, if not the, but one of the most anticipated oh, without, albums, without question. Just in general, and let alone of hers. I mean, I feel like once people found out, like Speak Now was like all self written. I feel like that was like a really big anticipation of hearing that album. But yep. this, to me, like with all ex- exactly what you said, with all the underlying factors, mm-hmm. it's just going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. I'm on the edge of my it's seat. It's going to be insane. I can't yeah. wait. I can't me too. Wait. How how many? Oh, we're we're. 17 days out it's yep. the third today 17, 17 days, days. oh so close so exciting wait okay yeah 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 because tomorrow thursday 17 days out mm-hmm. sorry yeah, oh, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just oh, talking right, right, right. For, i'm talking for no reason well tomorrow will be 16 days out because today's the third tomorrow's the fourth right no but i think i was wrong in my math because 21 21- oh no 19 i'm so stupid yeah but technically it's yes. eight, the 18th because something it comes in out my at brain midnight. is something happening on the 21st of april Something in my brain is key. Like for a minute, I, like I, last week, I like was talking to somebody on the phone, or I might even talk to my parents, being like, "Taylor has a new album coming out April twenty first. and that's obviously not true. Yeah, and there's nothing. Something in my brain is happening on April twenty first, and I don't know what it is. Hmm. So just now, when I was doing that math, I thought I was doing it wrong. So yeah, it's it's seven. It'll be sixteen days. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. All good. Just ignore me doing math. Hey, ladies. This is Kylie. Um, love listening to y'all. Just got done listening to your debut episode, which was amazing. Thank love you. That. Kelly loves 
Should Have Said No, which is also one of my favorites from that album. Um, it kind of reminded me, though, of a somewhat funny story that I have associated with that album where mm-hmm. um, oh, I <laughs> had d- dated a guy who'd been my, like, high school flame, and he cheated on me. <gasps> we broke Scumbag. up, and, like, a year later, he was at a Taylor Swift concert at some rodeo, and she performed Should Have Said No, and he texted me just the phrase, should have said no, and I immediately knew what he was talking about. We oh went, like, God. back and forth in Taylor Swift lyrics for a while, and <laughs> um, unfortunately, I ended up through that reestablishing a connection. Obviously. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. Obviously yep. mistake, we're all, we're all the same. I find yeah. out later, but um, <laughs> it's okay. I, I, you know, forgive Taylor. I don't think she, you know, realized that her song would be used for evil, um, but of course. got mm-hmm. me thinking, you know, to see if you guys have any, you know, Taylor Swift songs that have maybe gotten you in trouble or that you have complicated relationships <laughs> with. Again, thanks for taking my call and uh, keep up the good work. Yay. Thank you for calling. Love you so much. Yeah, that, I thought that was a funny That's story. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Because you know why? It's Taylor Swift is a perfect thing for guys who are smart. Mm. And by smart, I can also mean manipulative. <laughs> you... Taylor Swift is a is a cheat code. That yeah. is one thing. If you want girls to respond to you, to pay attention to you, to do whatever, a thousand percent. You drop Taylor Swift, yes. and this guy went there, and he hears the lyrics, and and imagine you imagine I'm the girl, imagine I'm her, and I am am so pissed. I I'm screaming, should have said no because yeah. I'm mad at my ex boyfriend and whatever, hate him, die in a ditch, whole thing, and then I get the text. That validates one my right. craziness of listening to the song over yeah. and over again. Two, the fact that like he did cheat on me and now he he admits he shouldn't have mm-hmm. done that. And then three, Taylor we're gonna text back and forth in lyrics. Yeah. Like okay, yeah, we're fucking again. Like that's yeah, that's obviously. what's gonna happen. I like, don't understand why guys are so against like it, listening to Taylor Swift and completely. stuff because it's, it is a cheat code. Like anytime, it's crazy. I, I mean, I have it on like my hinge. I'm like. Tell me your favorite Taylor mm-hmm. Swift song, and like mm-hmm. the an- the right answer is the right answer, you know. Right, exactly, yeah. So. But also too, I I will never understand even the guys who like try to talk shit or like make fun or anything like yeah. that. I'm like, oh no, you're just like you're literally raising the red flag from your back. Like, that, yeah. Like no one, if we see that you're actively hating on Taylor Swift or disliking Taylor Swift, even girls who don't like Taylor or aren't like super fans of Taylor, recognize that guys who are talking shit about her also were like, well, what the fuck is your problem? Yeah. Like, just, just move along. What does that have to do with you? But yeah, I mean, I don't know why guys don't do that more. That is a, we we're all victims to that. I would have yeah. fallen for that too. Oh, I would have fallen for that. Same, so fast. Obviously. Wait, and also, do no you idea. have any complicated relationships with any of her songs? Oh yeah. Hmm. When That's I was listening to it, question. my first thought was, um, I did something bad. Because there yeah. was a period of time when I was hooking up with an ex from a while ago, and mm-hmm. every time I would go to his apartment, I would listen to I did something bad on the of way course, there. Of course, of course. I have... Um, <laughs> Just to justify my actions. No, completely, yeah. completely, and it always does. I am trying to think. Hmm. I don't know if I have a complicated relationship with any of the songs. Like, there's not one that I hear... That I'm like, oh no, I can't listen to this because it like reminds me of someone. You right. Know what I mean? However, every song certainly reminds me of someone, and uh, because I made it so, and right. I oftentimes will switch up who it is. Like I, if if I'll assign a song or an album or whatever to somebody because like maybe you know the Lover album came out mm-hmm. right. Um, it, it was like it was before COVID, but it was like a weird time in my life and I was like being reckless and weird and I was just like, you know, acting. I wasn't in love or anything. Like none none of that was happening. However, um, I kind of let it dictate my moods and my behaviors. Mm -hmm. And then now if I ever, if I like have someone that I start to assign them to, I'll reassign and I'll be like, Oh no. Like originally I thought this one was about that one guy that I hooked up with. And now it's about the, clearly it was all along supposed to be about right, this person. Right, right. Like, blah, 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 blah. No, I do the same thing. You know what I mean? Yes. Lovers totally. may be the bad example for that, but like, but I do have specific memories. Do you have memories of the albums like season seasonally? Like I know we kind of talked about this before, but I have like specific seasons that I'll think of like, 
lover is so oh, yeah, is we like went months, through I guess. That. We went yeah. through this already. Yeah. Like September for me is lover. I don't know why. Maybe it came out like around then or something, but mm. I was listening to it heavy at that time. And so like, you know, every day when you well, need yeah, the house like, and Evermore is like October to me. Totally, totally. Yeah. And um and not so much like how it feels. It just like specifically reminds me of those times. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. same. Anyway, but no, I guess long long story short, no. I'm not I don't have too many complicated things. I just, you know, wipe my mind clean and then reassign my delusions <laughs> yeah. instead. Yeah, I feel that. Which is fun. Um okay. Hey, Kelly and Gia. Hey, girl. This is hey. Ella from Iowa again. Ooh. I think this is like my oh, third man. voicemail, so hopefully you're not sick of me yet. No, not never. Yet. Still never. love you girls. Still love the pod. Yeah. Pod is Swifties in the game right here. Um, but my question, <laughs> or I guess comment, is I just remember when Brittany Mahomes started hanging out with Taylor Swift, mm-hmm. and we were getting all of the paparazzi photos of her like going out to dinner with the, her and her girl gang in New York and her getting to hang out with all of her friends. And Mm -hmm. personally for me, that is my ultimate dream is to go to dinner with Taylor Swift and her friends. Like I can't imagine something more fun, like the gossip that would be shared, the tea that would be had, the jokes that would be made. Like I, like that is what I dream of. That would be my perfect. Um, So I guess my question would be of the, of the Taylor Swift friends, who Hmm. would you want to go to dinner with? Wow. Um, like, would you want to go with Taylor and Sophie, Taylor and Blake? Wow. Um, you know, Taylor and Selena could be pretty fun. Yeah. I personally, if I had to pick one, I would definitely pick Sophie Turner because it's a great one. First of all, obsessed with her. Yeah. Uh, Gia, you yeah. kind of remind me of her. Or not Gia. I'm sorry. Kelly. I was like, oh, Gia, you're great. But <laughs> Kelly's That's lovely. Right here, so <laughs> that's who really reminds me of her. But Gia with red hair. Hilarious. You're good, yeah. <laughs> You know there would be some good bashing happening on Joe mm-hmm. Jonas and some insight into that tea, which right. would be very I'm still so curious about that um, too. But that's who I would also, pick. what's like an update on that? I know. Sophie Turner, queen of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but would love to hear who you guys would want to go to dinner with, with Taylor. Obviously, Yay. Taylor's number one, but. Yeah, of course. Of the squad. All right. I love you guys. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Bye. Love thanks, you, queen. Girl. Love thanks, you too. girl. And thanks for always calling. Love that. We we do not uh, we do not hate on repeat callers. You no. call as many times as you want. Yes. Um, this is a an amazing question. Yeah, good question. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna rank the friends I'd want to go with most. I want all these people at the table. Okay. Okay. Like yeah. I want to I want it to be like a girls' dinner, like okay. a bunch of us. Yeah. But in order of who I want the okay. most, one is Kelly Taylor. Okay. Um, two is probably Blake Lively. Yeah. Three would be um, Cara Delevingne. Okay. Four would be Sophie Turner. Yeah. And I think I'm set. <laughs> I think that's all I need or yeah. want. I don't. I'm not really into like a like a GG. I feel like that would be a mild mannered dinner. I Selena. Eh. Yeah. I um. I'm very similar with your list. I would yeah. say Kelly Teller first. Yeah. Blake mm-hmm. and Sophie and Gigi. That's would a good be mine. One. That's yeah. a good one. Because there's so much. I I want Gigi there solely so I can ask her about Tyler Cameron. Like so I need to true. know the tea about That's Tyler so Cameron. True. Like you have to think about that. What was that? Why did true. he go to your grandma's funeral? Like I just need that to know. That was crazy. Everything. I forgot they were. Yeah, they were, they close were like, like that. Yeah. So I want to know that. I want to know about Ryan Reynolds. I want to know about Miles Teller. So true. And I want to know about the girls. I want to know about the tea in the industry. I want to know it yeah. all. I want to know about Joe. I want to know about what Sophie thinks about Joe and his new girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I want to know everything. Interesting question. Sophie would probably be higher on my list if she were a more frequent um, mm. girl, like girl dinner. Like She was obviously girl dinnering hard. Oh, uh, and with Lana. Taylor. I want Lana there too. Oh yeah, Lana would be cool. Yeah. I would like Lana if it and were Sabrina like Carpenter. A, oh, Sabrina too. <laughs> I would like that as like a like a girls' night lounge at the at the apartment thing because okay. I want to like smoke weed and ch- and like vape with Lana. Okay. Like, I, I don't want to be like eating a meal with Lana. You okay, know? yeah, honestly, I don't need I to feel be like that. like ordering. You and know, I want to go to the tartar with, with Lana. Yeah, I, I would go like to out go out with Sabrina. Sabrina. That would be super fun. And party with her and Barry. Super cute. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, with her and Barry for sure. Nice pub. I would like to go to a pub Ooh, with them. Like that I mean, it doesn't even have to be like out fancy. Like, I yeah, just want to be at like a dirty ass pub with the two of them. So fun. Um, but really, Kelly is is the number one yeah, choice. Like Kelly she just seems the most like normal, normal, cool, funny. Yeah, yeah, really great. Yeah, Blake would is close, but um, you know she's a mom and and well, she's so f- like 
she's more adult. I think that like yeah, yeah. she if I were wanting to go and have like a serious girls' dinner, like talk about my life and like talk about like whatever like not just gossip the whole time Blake would be I think first yeah because she I feel just gives me the vibe of having like a more I don't know like an adult outlook on life like she probably give, like gives good advice you know yeah definitely do you feel that way about Blake no, yes she seems yeah. like she is the most like mentally stable and totally. like she's kind of like the mom of the group but not in a bad way yeah like, not, no. I, I wouldn't like be like oh you're the mom but she just seems very like yeah, good head on her shoulders. Very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that the other girls don't. But. No, not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great question. Yeah, good question. Thanks, Queen. Um, okay. Hi, Tia and Kelly. Um, my name is Emily. Hey, and Emily. I'm mainly calling just to say that I love you guys and your podcast oh so much. Um, I, just, I love podcasts where it feels like you're just calling, like a close friend and getting to catch up. And I feel like every time I listen to a new Taylor Watch episode, it just, Aww. Feels like I'm calling my New York besties. And yes, hell yes, That's exactly what we wanted to be. Yeah. Things Taylor. So, Yay. thank you guys for all the work you put into Taylor Watch, and yeah, 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 uh, yeah. yeah I really appreciate you guys. Um, and then also one more thing, I was She's curious if um, you guys had a, a favorite um, track that you're most excited for on Tortured Post Ooh, Good question. Um, I, after hearing Levi's scenes, I am way more excited to hear Fortnite. Um, mm-hmm. I just feel like Post Malone has, I don't know, I loved how he sounded on that song. I love Post Malone. I'm really yeah. excited. Massive fan. Um, yeah. To hear how him and Taylor are going to collaborate. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. anyway, um, thank you guys. Love you. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Aww, Queen. You too, Queen. Thank wow, you for the I, nice... Honestly, I needed that. Yeah. I needed a pick. I, that, that was my pick me up. There you go. Day. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe that's why Taylor's never sad because everyone's always like, we love it so much. Yeah, that's true, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Post Malone is the king of he's so features. Good. Like every time he he's is. featured on a song, he just makes that track so much better. His voice is just smooth like butter. Oof. Absolutely. And it's I'm getting so like chills even thinking about same. it. Same. And it's so recognizable yeah. too. Yeah. And he just um he's fantastic. Yeah, him I'm, and a, Beyonce's, I'm a really big Post Malone fan. Yeah. That's my favorite song on that album yeah. so far. I, oh. I haven't given it uh, you know a, I've only listened to it through all the way once but then I repeated that song a couple yeah. times. I really like the so song. So good. I really what, like that Levi song. Jeans? Levi yeah, Jeans, yeah. yeah. Um so Let good. Let me look up the track. Yeah, look up the track list. Torture Poets I, really quick cuz I kind of I forget. Have to think about it. Tortured Poets track list. First thing out of my head to be honest though. Um, I think I'm most excited. I mean, it has to be. I mean, I feel like this is such a basic answer, but it has to be so long, London. Like, I'm just so excited for that song. It's a track five, which we know means it's going to be her most like emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. London obviously has to do with Joe Alwyn. Like, so true. And I'm also very, very curious to what Florida is going to sound like. I'm very curious about Florida. Um, yeah. Someone said. I saw some like random, I forget if I sent it to you or not. Sometimes I will see these things and I don't even bother sending them to you because yeah. it just seems so fake. But there was one thing that was like inside oh, info. Oh, I think I saw thing this. That was like, huh? oh no. Oh, what's that? No, it's okay. Oh, oh. Um, that was like Florida rumored to be, um, what what they say about yeah, it? Yeah, it was Did like a folk too? something. Yeah, folk, indie, pop. It had like multiple genres in one song is yeah what they were saying and and to be honest i feel like that's kind it of says, what said. um is rumored to be a baroque pop style song what does baroque mean hmm. baroque like means relating or denoting a style of european architecture music and art Ooh. okay interesting Wait, sp- show me how it's spelled b-a-r-o-q-u-e Baroque. Baroque? I don't know hmm. how to pronounce it. I don't know, but that's, that's definitely um, a word that I would read and pretend like I knew what it meant. Right. You know what I mean? Baroque like, oh, pop style Baroque. song, <laughs> which combines alter- Obviously. Alter- alternative genres like folk rock and indie. Interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, folk rock I mean, rock that's exciting. I, I like the sound of that. I'm pumped up about it. Um, Let me... Let me... Is this person Nostradamus Insider? I don't know what the deal is yeah, with that's, them. Yeah. They always are tweeting like... That? Like, H, like Harry Styles 4 is coming, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, it was... It's like, what? Very... I mean, and, like, usually, like, they're kind of right, which is kind of crazy. I know. I know. So, maybe they're... Who knows? Who knows who these people are? But, yeah. 
Um, Definitely excited for Florida and so, so long London. excited for Florida and, and so long London. Yeah. I, so long London for sure for me too, but that didn't come to my head right away. I want to know badly um, what But Daddy I Love Him sounds mm. like. Again, just because the Little Mermaid connection is like yeah. crazy. And then I really, really am interested in Clara Bow. Okay, right. Because I have a feeling it will be, um, it'll be very like Rebecca Harkness, Last Great American Dynasty vibe. And Clara Bow, I've like looked her up since this uh, track list has been released because I was curious about her. And she had a very interesting life and a very like kind of tortured life, mm-hmm. you know, for lack of a better word. And I, I feel it could either be storytelling, Last Great American Dynasty, like a little bit of upbeat, whatever. Or it could be like kind of tragic. Mm. And if it's like a tragic, sad song, I'm going to love it. Right. So much. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm well, very just curious. Just like the relations, the yeah, parallels right, between them. Yeah, right. The parallels them, yeah. between. So it might really like, it might be like a self reflection, mm. like type vibe, sadness, whatever. I, you know, I can't think past the veil of of most of this album being sad. I know. And I know that I shouldn't because I don't want to get my... Like, I, I know. Don't, not that I want to get my hopes up like because I'll like it regardless, but I, I'm, I'm very I, I, convinced I, I, that some of these things that I think are going to be more upbeat are not going to be so upbeat. I don't know why I think that. Right. I mean, like... The, all the signs are kind of pointing to it, mm-hmm. like the the the, so the little lyrics that are on signs. the vinyls. You yeah. know, they're mm-hmm. they're all like very deep, introspective. Yeah, lyrics. they're all like "I love you, it's killing me." Yeah, like, it's, like you it's don't very, get like, to tell me about sad. Yeah, so like yeah. there's definitely a lot of signs okay. pointing to it. It's black right. and white. Like, so I'm not being crazy. No, no, not at all. But I am very interested in those, and um, and then obviously like every song really yeah. it's hard to it's hard yeah. to choose. Yeah, but I'm very interested to see what what comes of those. Me too. Okay, let's go into DMs. Fab. Hi, Gia and Kelly. My name is Jennifer, and I'm from Kansas City. Go Chiefs. I'm currently going through my first heartbreak. Taylor's music has obviously helped me work through my emotions and has given me so much I can relate to. This has also given me such an appreciation for her as a singer and songwriter, even more than I had before. However, I have noticed it can be hard to listen to some of her more emotional songs slash albums while trying to heal through this process. Mm -hmm. For example, I find it hard to listen to Folklore right now, even though it is one of my favorite albums of all time. I know I will get back to it one day, but it's just so painfully relatable to me right now, lol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm at the point where I've gone through the initial emotional stages of a breakup and want to focus on healing and listening to music that will feel uplifting. Good for you. That's very mature. That's extremely mature. That's not something I do. No, myself. uh, Me neither. (laughs) I would love to know your recommendations for what Taylor songs have helped you heal from heartbreak or just through any times in general. Love you both so much. This pod, it brings me so much joy and I look oh. forward to every episode. Thanks. Yay. Thanks, oh, Jennifer. Sweet. Thank so you so sweet. much, Jennifer. Um, I think, first of all, so sorry about your heartbreak. Ugh. That's the worst. Breakups are the girl. fucking worst. The fucking worst. Yeah. And it's just like, ugh, gloom and doom. And it just feels like the world's ending because yeah. it is. And it's like, yeah. ugh. And uh, it's it's a hard time. So so keep your head up. You'll be keep okay. Keep your head up. Time this heals. Too shall pass. Yeah, legit. Time and heals I hate when, all. I hate when people. I yeah. know. I hate when people say that. But every day so is true. one step mm-hmm. better. You yeah. know, like every day is it is gonna make it easier. Things for you. get better. Things yeah. get better. And people are shitty. And you know, things might get worse also. But then they get better again. Yeah. And life is a like, roller coaster. Life is a roller coaster. Yeah. Life is a highway. Um. um <laughs> But also, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> really good breakup advice. Yeah, life is life a is a highway. Yeah, you're just gonna have to um, get through it. That's just separate. As far as Taylor songs go, for healing through a breakup, I feel like you need to listen to Closure. Has to be Closure. Yeah, Closure is a great song for that. Um, so is um, well, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> just kidding. I was gonna say Invisible String because I thought oh, about now I send their no, baby's presents no. and now I'm like, wait, no, absolutely not. But I understand because folklore is like inherently kind of sad and like yeah. if you're heartbroken. That's a there's a lot of like sad moments and and feeling lonely moments in folklore. I think. Yeah. Um. I also think um, it's time to go. It's time is to a go really is a good, good one. one. Can I be real? I think a lot of the the red album. Yeah. Like is kind of upbeat but going through heartbreak at the same time like yeah. i've never thought that red was like a sad album you know in any yeah. way but i do know that a lot she went through like a lot of shit during that time yeah so i think that red the red album as a whole is pretty good i bet you think um, about me i bet you think about me i was just gonna say yeah it. top of the list totally for sure. one that you will blast yes i forgot that you existed I forgot that you existed great yeah from the lover album um 
Also, Honestly, Happiness is a really, really, really sad song. Yeah. But I feel like it helped me a lot because, like, the end of the song is kind of like there was happiness, like, because of you, and now there's happiness so because true. of me, you know? So like, true. So it's, so it's, it it's a happiness. hard song to get through, yeah. but, like, the meaning of it is kind of exactly what we were trying to say. Like, yep. At time heals all wounds and you can look back on a relationship and know that there was a reason why you were in it and why there's a reason why you're not in it anymore. Kind absolutely. Of. Absolutely. Yeah. What is it? It's there'll be, ha- there'll be happiness yeah. after you, but there was happiness there was happy- because of you. Yeah. Too. There was happiness because of you and there's happiness. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah. yeah. I think you're there'll right. Happiness after it's either after me or after you. There yeah. Be there'll be happiness verses. after you, but there was happiness because, because of you. you Both of these Both things can, can be, be true. true. There was happiness. Yeah. And my blood improved. Yeah. Across the grave. There, there'll be happiness after me, but there was happiness because, because of, of me. me. Both of these things, I believe. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Which is great song. Great. That's yeah. a, that's a good one, Jay. Thanks. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Early early days to debut again. We're we're debut queens now. Yeah. We, we did the deep dive. Debut will help you. Will take you out of the present and bring you back to nostalgia. I mm-hmm. feel and. You can listen to a Shoulda Said No or an R song even. Yeah, or Better like Than Revenge. Picture to Burn. Oh, yeah, yeah like, Picture to Burn. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even Better Than Revenge, who Speak Now kind of has that same vibe yeah. where it's like angry breakup in a little way, but like poppy angry breakup yeah. where you can like feel, you know, just feel that kick ass without it bringing you down. Yeah. And I feel like Debut has enough like girly pop songs totally. that kind of bring you up in too. In between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Meanwhile, I know that both of us are the same as, uh, you know, if I'm feeling sad, I love to wallow oh, in it. Love my to God. wallow in yeah, it. Oh, my God. Yeah, what? That's, that's literally. I listen literally to Folklore on the Way to Work today. That's why I'm in this mood. <laughs> yeah, I, I've been on a big um, Olivia Rodrigo, Scared of My Guitar. Oh, yeah. She she released it. That's just like such a good fucking yeah, song. Yeah, and yeah. it's so sad. And it's just like, I can't stop listening to it. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's, if you're listening yeah. to something sad and, and. I don't. I know that there are other people, obviously, out there like this, but I'm glad that you and I are both like this because sometimes you need to get it out of your system. Like, I need to listen to it until I can't fucking cry to the song anymore. I don't feel sad anymore. Like, it's almost like shock therapy or like desensitize yourself to it or something. Like, yeah. that's kind of how I. <laughs> yeah. That's how I get. You yeah, know, and it's kind like, that's of. bizarre, obviously, yeah. but like. It just feels that way. I just way. like making myself feel more sad when I'm sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know it's why. Al- like I'm allowing myself to feel the emotions. Yeah, yeah. I feel like all you know, all day long, you walk around, you bottle them all up, whatever. Yeah. And sometimes you're lucky enough when you get home, you just burst into tears. But other times you need a little, you know, a little push over the edge. Yeah. And throw on a sad song. Agreed. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey girls. Hey. <laughs> okay. I know English. <laughs> One second. <clears throat> Hey girls, happy Tortured Poets Department Month. That's Yay. kind of a mouthful. No, Come it, on, yeah. It is, it is, it is. Happy, happy Tortured, Tortured Poets, Poets Department, Department Month. Month. Yes. I want to know that what is. song off TTPD you guys think will be the most heart wrenching or gut wrenching one. Ooh. I personally think it's going to be I Can Do It With a Broken Heart or Who's Afraid of Little O Me or So Long London because it's track five. Love you guys and your podcast so much. Oh, thank you so sweet. I love you so I much. didn't even think about Who's Afraid of Little O Me. Me I neither, f- but that could be a very like I know I feel like that could be yes, song. Yes, totally. I see which, that argument. Yeah. What was the other one she said? Um, I can do it with a broken heart. That which one is I think a lot be, of people think that is going to be the. the I just one. but like I can't tell though because neither like can I. to me I can do it with a broken heart like for some reason I hear in my head like. I can do it with the broken heart for sure. Like, like, like almost more like a upbeat, like you know? right an upbeat. I can I can do this even though yeah, my like, even though my heart is broken like there's yeah. no problem like I'm still I'm still pushing through I'm yeah, still myself yeah, yeah. like you didn't keep me down yeah kind of exactly vibe. not like yeah. not more of like the sad v- lens of that where it's yeah. like like I can do this you know what I mean like yep. yep 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 to me it's more like yeah I could do it <laughs> I I kind of agree I I am I tend to uh, to fall that way as yeah. well I'm trying to think so long London I think is is going to be tough like because I don't. There's no way that that song is gonna be like upbeat, right? I just I can't imagine if what it if is. it's what if it's set to the same tone as London Boy and it's just changing the lyrics. So long, London. I hate you now, and I'm never coming back to you. <laughs> I'll take my American smile and I'll stay in America. Shit. Tea and crumpets blow day. That's what she's saying. And I hate your blonde hair. You know that I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I dress Elba's better than you. Because yeah. <laughs> he's in the beginning. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know I'll I hate take my a scooter London. And yeah. I'll go so loud to London. The store. Yeah, I got an American boyfriend. Yeah. He's really tall. <laughs> hey, by the way, <laughs> check out my hot boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's her other song. That's the song that's that is unreleased. Um, mm. My my big hot yeah, boyfriend. Yeah, my big hot boyfriend. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. gonna be the <laughs> the sixth vinyl variant. <laughs> the sixth vinyl variant will be my, <laughs> my big, big hot, hot boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah, I would buy that one. Oh. That would be, that's a collector's item. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way you can that's miss out on that. Piece. That's a one on one. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Must that's have. Hilarious. Must have. Um, okay. You know, but wouldn't that be hilarious if if that was like if it was like a sassy, like so long London. Yeah, like no, you totally. thought you, you know, you thought you were the like, best and turns you got out you're big fucking ben. not. Turns out I'm eating hot dogs and yeah. an apple pie, you know? <laughs> like I drink Pinot Grigio and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you eat uh Tea what and crumpets. Do, yeah, yeah. What do British people even eat like crumpets. gross shit? Like bangers liver. and mash. Yeah. You eat <laughs> Enjoy liver. your bangers and mash. I'll yeah. be having hot dogs. Enjoy your pea soup. <laughs> I'll be drinking Pinot Grigio. <laughs> and hot dogs, bitch. Uh, I drink my beer cold. Yeah, literally. I drink it warm. <laughs> British people Not are always. so weird. I know, but I, I just want to move there, though. I know. I love London. I though. just wish I... I really do. I think I could fit in so seamlessly. You give British vibes. I think I could just adapt to the life there so fast. Like, I, I feel like, honestly, it's probably not that different from the city. It's definitely not. Yeah. It's maybe some di- Maybe some, like, cultural... like I think uh, I'd be equally, like... Societal, cultural stuff. For sure, know? for sure. I'd have but to like, tone myself down sometime. Well, I could be loud in a bar. They're all loud so. in yeah, bars I feel and like stuff. British people yeah, but I'm like, a little, I'm a little crass. You but know London, I, mean? I feel like is a little like so true. Yeah, way more metropolitan. Yeah, it depends yeah, yeah, on yeah. where you go. So true. So true. Okay. Okay. Hey, Kelly and Gia, Emily, a math Swifty from okay. Tampa here. I want to okay. know if you have a new appreciation for any song on the Eras Tour set list after seeing Taylor perform it live. For mm-hmm. example, I never appreciated My Tears Ricochet until I saw the Eras Tour. That's a great one. Great question. And um, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm not sure. I'll retell the story anyway. Um, before the Eras tour, we or I thought to myself, like, okay, three and a half hour tour. I'm not really going to drink, mm-hmm. but I am going to drink some water. I'm definitely going to have to pee at least once during the show. I, usually I can I can hold my pee for a whole fucking day if I have to. Mm-hmm. But I was like, uh, you know, I'm not taking any chances. I'm very good at it. When you have, like, anxiety about pee, like, you just have to pee to get you it over. You just are worried about it and you're thinking yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah, So in my head, I was like, all right. I will go pee during 22 mm-hmm. because I don't care about 22. I'm yeah. not 22. And it was just like, seemed like a good time to, uh, to go. 22 starts up and I was glued to my seat. There was mm. no way I could leave during it. It just, for That's some funny. reason, it was so like the energy at the time, everybody singing it, her yeah. like just jumping around the stage, doing dumb shit, the hat. Yeah. Like it was so fucking cute and really cool and and very like nostalgic and i loved it more than i ever thought i would yeah and um and i'm glad that i didn't go during that time yeah that makes sense i ended up going immediately after but then i was like screaming i think we are never getting back together is next yeah after that, and i was like screaming it from the bathroom alone like i was <laughs> the only person in the bathroom alone like peeing yeah, you so have to hard sing it. Like, yeah. basically, while like, you're going to the bathroom that's funny though because <laughs> i have never seen taylor swift perform 22 is that your bathroom yeah, song? Yeah, that's my bathroom Fuck. song. Yeah. You have to stay for this one. Wait one more Maybe song Maybe I'll next stay time. for Paris, yeah. But I love, like, I'd rather Peter in 22 than We Are Never Getting Back Together. Because I kind of like that. Oh, I like the silliness true. of that song. Wee. But yeah, also, true. but that's fun too. Yeah, but for me, it's well for this two. time we might be we might be good this time because oh, right. we, we might have, have our own a, private have bathroom. A bathroom like right next to us. That's at the very true. least. That you would know be I mean? so nice. Which would be oh lovely. Oh, um, so soon. I know. I think it's like 33 days, 34 days or something. My. uh my that's absurd Delta, i can't even Delta think about that telling me anyway, um anyway but what are, what are yours mine are two one is uh-huh. shake it off because i Fair. never ever ever listened to shake it off and then once i saw the air for the first time i was dancing my ass off having so much fun and yeah. then shake it off taylor's version came out and now i never skip shake it off never skip it yeah. just gets never me going like beat. it's such a silly song and it's I'm so my ex-man has a new girlfriend she's She's like oh my god God, i'm just gonna shake it to the fella over there with the hella good hair won't you come on over baby we can shake 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 yeah (laughs) no we won't we won't do it to you we won't do it to you i can't Um, go that high i can't do it i always try to sing it and it's I can't so do it. Hard. I'm literally not even going to try no. right now, especially um, in the silence. Acapella. So that song for sure. And then Fearless. 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 Seeing Fearless that is good. For the first time. Yeah, Fearless live, is really good. Really like awakened my inner child in a way. 
Oh and like when everyone, you know that she didn't do the heart hands for like a, the first couple shows. What? Yeah, I'm fearless. And then she decided to do it. That's like that moment. That I was moment like, is I saw. This is like such a show, full circle. I do yeah. it. That to me is like if someone were to to be like, okay. I'm trying to think of this, uh, uh, how to say this without sounding like a fucking freak. So if there is ever a moment where it's like, we've been brainwashed this whole time, mm-hmm. right? Like you know, the conspiracy theories are right. We're right. a cult. We're being brainwashed, right. blah, blah, blah. We're just waiting to be activated. Right. The activation will be this. Oh, we'll totally. Be, we'll be, um, <laughs> we'll be, it's fearless. Dun, 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 Commence. Dun, dun. Like Swifty I, takeover. I've <laughs> never, I'm not kidding. Like I'm watching Aristotle on my couch. I'm alone on my couch and I, I'm i at the screen and I'm like no I like know it was, it was, it was I was brainwashed into that, doing it immediately I was like I cannot believe I'm holding it up have to but like, that moment to. just like and, totally and streaming tears immediately yeah, too and yeah just mm-hmm. like totally cemented that as like such an iconic song an iconic moment yep and like just brings you right back to your childhood and mm-hmm. it kind of reminds you like why you love Taylor Swift so absolutely. much absolutely the song is so good it's such a fun song so yeah and it's just like a the the sparklers are going the sparklers it's are so going. nostalgic yeah love it the whole fearless set honestly is is really <sighs> really wonderful to watch especially too because like opens a show with lover we get the lover songs mm-hmm. and you know we love the lover songs but they're relatively new I'd mm-hmm. say especially to a tour she hadn't toured with them by themselves but then once it goes all the way back to to Fearless, you feel that like, yeah, you know, you're like, wow. you feel the vibe in the air and it's still the beginning of the show and there's so much left of the yeah. night and it's just like, oh, it's a good, it's great vibes. Yeah. Great, great vibes. vibes. Love. Oop, someone's Love. calling me. Oh, hello. Should I answer? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Fabulous. I will put your name down. Oh. Okay, no worries. Okay, no worries. I'll let them know. Okay, thank you. So much. Thank you. Bye. My my mom <laughs> put my number down yeah. as the RSVP person for Francesca's for, for shower. Her, her, her so bridal I just keep shower? Getting, That's yeah. to say for her shower. Yeah, That's for not her like her an adult shower. On the yeah. phone. <laughs> and I just keep getting calls from random older women being like, I can't go. I'm like, I oh, have I'm no so idea. Who you I'm are. so sorry. I won't I love Francesca, <laughs> but I won't be able to. I just heard. And I'm like, oops, okay. <laughs> all right, I'll write Talk it to you down. later, Donna. That's yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah. Hilarious and very sweet. Oh, yeah, sad very that she nice. won't be able to yeah, attend. Too but bad. what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? That's that's a bridal shower for you. Anyway. Um <laughs> well, yeah, I, that's I think that's it. That's yeah. it with our that's it with our crew. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much to everybody who um yeah, as thanks, always guys. who calls in, leaves voicemail, sends us texts, sends us messages. We yes. love it so much. The Thursday shows are great. I'm I'm my mood is significantly no, lifted my mood than it was is in the so beginning. So much better. So much better. It's actually kind of crazy. It is crazy. And yeah. this happens every week. We just have to remember that that Wednesdays for us, Thursdays for you. That's the day that everything's going to be fine. Yes, mm-hmm. that's very true. Mm-hmm. Hump day. Feels good. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Hump day. God, that commercial's still hilarious. They don't play it anymore i know but like every Bring time i even back. hear about it or see it or someone says it i laugh I'm yeah always like, <laughs> <"Hump day." laughs> like for sure where's that camel yeah, at yeah hilarious good times like, bring back the no hump one has day ever camel. laughed harder at the hump day, hump day commercial than my dad my dad like <laughs> thinks that commercial <laughs> is so fucking funny. like he maybe we should bring that back that shit. yeah hump day like yeah, next start, week we just start yeah next week not this week yeah yeah, yeah what's, up? what's up late. what's up yeah it's too late now yeah everybody's gone everybody's gone home yeah <laughs> this place um, empty yeah no the rain the rain keeps a lot of people away that's facts yeah Which it is, almost kept me away almost kept me away <laughs> yeah would have kept me away honestly but if not but not for uh not for you not guys, for you guys. So yeah. thank you so much thanks, guys we love for giving you guys. us a reason to get out of bed no and literally literally <laughs> not even a joke so yeah. thank you thank you thank you we will see you next week if you want to call in next week or send us a text the number Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. Three four seven four five zero zero seven two three. And also message us on the Taylor Watch Instagram if you'd like Taylor dot Watch. Yes. And we will see you, lovelies, on Tuesday, Tuesday of next week. Tuesday. Tuesday. A moose day, as always. Yes. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Love you guys.